this is Angela Murad at Amazing Kids AAC Consulting. I've been receiving quite a few questions about switch scanning access um, on an iPad, and in particular uh, related to AAC apps, but also for switch scanning access, um, but also for cause and effect, simple cause and effect apps. So the key for the accessing that on an iPad is you have to have some sort, sort of switch interface. They can be wireless, like seen here, these are Bluetooth, or they could be wired. I don't personally own any wired ones, so I'm not gonna go into those here, but uh, which apps those wired ones would work with will vary just as which apps these will work with. So I was able to borrow the Aero Switch from PRC Satillo to try out for myself. And then I own the Bluetooth, Bluetooth Switch from AbleNet. So I'm gonna go over the Aero Switch first since um, this is the one I've received quite a few questions about. Uh, the one thing that struck me at first, I'm gonna move this one out of the way is even though I had read the dimensions online, it's smaller than I anticipated. It's more like the size of a buddy button, if you're familiar with that. So the activation area is about two and a half-ish inches, maybe slightly less than two and a half inches. So you have this ring that screws off and you can switch out your colors here. So you, you have a clear one, you have blue, yellow, red, and green. I liked that they're secured in a secure way. So instead of just snapping on, there's actually this ring that tightly holds it on. Let's see, over here, you have a button to pair the Bluetooth. There's an indicator light and two ports for external switches. I don't own any external switches, so I only tried this with using a single switch, which is built in. And then you have your on off button here. On the back, you have a rotary dial and you'll need your instruction book. Very important instructions here about those positions and what they mean. So you'll need that. I'll be honest, figuring out this switch was a challenge of my patience. It finally did work, but um, it was very finicky in getting my iPad to recognize it, but then you have to set it to different settings for it to actually work within Lampwords for Live or Touch Chat. Um, I didn't try it in their text-based um, AAC app yet, but I'm sure it'll be the same thing there. On the back here, this one runs on a replaceable battery. So you don't charge this, but it has a long-term uh, battery in here, and the instructions will tell you about how long that will last depending on the usage. This dial here is what you use for the different um, modes. And then, as you can tell, it could be mounted. It has your pin code on the back. And so in order to switch the rotary dial, they include this little tiny screwdriver. So that's how you do that. As a comparison, this is the Bluetooth, Bluetooth switch from AbleNet. And this one I own, so I've used it quite a bit. The activation area on each side is about 2.75, so slightly more activation area. So you can see that. It, let's see if I can find where you plug it in. It has a charging port that you use a wall charger and they give you these adapters in case you live outside of the US. Uh, you can also plug in a USB keyboard to attempt to program other keystrokes. 
Um, I didn't find that I needed to really do that for the AAC apps that I use. It has two external switch ports. Learn mode, let's see if I can get that to show up, is for if you're using that external keyboard to teach it something, but you shouldn't usually have to do that. Here's where you switch the modes. Usually mode one is the one that I use the most. Here's the on off button and the peering button and another button related to the keyboard. Then right here printed on the back, it'll tell you what those various modes are. So mode one is space and enter. So that's the one that is an option pretty much in most AAC apps. I will tell you that if you want to attempt to do switch access in Lamp Words for Life or Touch Chat, then the arrow switch is your only option as far as a Bluetooth switch. I don't have any wired switch interfaces like the Tapio or other wired interfaces, so I don't know whether or not those would work. But for sure, as far as Bluetooth connection, the company has confirmed this is your only option. It's pretty complicated on why they had to do that, but it was the only way that they could ensure consistent switch access within those two apps. It took a lot of time to figure out how to do it with this particular switch. Uh, I had to get it paired with my iPad. That was challenging. And then I had to switch it to a different mode on the rotary dial to be able to get it to work within those two apps. Those details will all be included in my next update for the symbol-based feature matching chart because it's really too much to go into here. Um, but it is possible to do switch access in those two, two AAC apps. I will tell you, based on my experience of how challenging it was to figure out, and even beyond that, even if it was simple to figure out, my personal experience has been switch access for AAC is more reliable when exploring that on traditional speech generating devices um, because they're built for that. They have wired ports, even if they're done wirelessly, like it's just built that way. But not everyone has funding to support that. So it's important that we know about how to access switch scanning uh, when it's needed on an iPad. So for LAMP and touch chat, this is your only option that's wireless. For all other apps, oh, I'll go back to this one. I was able to figure out how to get this to work on other AAC apps. It took very specific combinations of settings to do that. And those details will be in my future matching chart for the symbol-based AAC apps as well. The Bluetooth works very easily in all of the other robust symbol-based AAC apps that have built-in settings for switch scanning. Those details can also be found in my feature matching chart. Um, all other apps, you could attempt to use iOS accessibility switch scanning. Um, that's a lot more finicky. You don't have as much control on exactly how the scanning is set up, um, but you could explore that. So I'm going to pause real quick and then show you how this works.